Today, we're gonna be reviewing the Bravit Jumper photo bag um, and actually figure out how much things that I actually put in here when I go to travel. Now, this is my travel bag. Anytime I'm headed out of state, headed out of the um, city, headed out of the county, or just headed out of the country, I usually go with this camera bag if I know I'm gonna be doing some travel shots, if I'm gonna do some a little bit of video while on the go. But I'm not in a way trying to bring everything down to my Pelican cases and a ton of audio setup because I don't need it. It's not gonna actually be a wedding or anything of production that I'm actually filming, but this is just more, if I know I'm going out, I need a bag, I'm on a vacation, or I'm just traveling to a location for a quick photo shoot, this is the bag that I pick and what I go to. The greatest thing about it, I even got my logo in there. So let's get into it and try to figure out what all I get inside this camera bag on uh, every time I take a trip or what's my go-to setup when it comes down to this camera bag. I'll do an overhead so you guys can actually see what I'm actually pulling out. But to be honest with you, this thing actually holds a lot. And it's actually pretty surprising once you really break down how much you can actually fit into this little thing. Now, I would say that the engineers over at this company, they did a really good job of figuring out what basic photographers or even more advanced photographers or videographers need um, as far as space and compartment spaces um, when it comes down to just having a bag, an everyday carry bag, or just a bag that you have on a shoot. Now, I would tell you this, I do use this for all of my engagement sessions or my portrait sessions, because again, I don't need everything I just need a bag that's gonna hold exactly what I need, you know, my my absolute necessities. So let's get into it, let's check it out, and you guys tell me what you think. All right, so again, this is the Bravit Jumper Pack. Um, love this bag. I actually got my logo stitched on there. Hey, custom tip, make sure you do everything branding, all about branding. So with this bag itself, I want to go into a little detail when it comes down to just showing all the features inside the bag and all the things that I can actually fit inside the bag. First off, let's unzip the top flap and see what I have. Now, I have a MacBook Pro, so I knew that USB dongle, USB-C dongle. I have my SanDisk um, SSDs. I always walk with those um, to make sure I can back up my footage if I'm on the go, if I'm on the road, because that's very important. Again, footage should be in multiple places. The bag itself is, again, built very nicely, which I like, um, and it's soft padding. So let's look to the top and see what I can actually fit at the top. First, if I'm doing video, I will have my external monitor. That's huge. You always need an external monitor. Um, if I'm doing photos, I have my 580 EX flash. Now, this is my old one. My 600 died on me, but that's another topic. Um, inside the flat, I have all my batteries. I uh, have batteries for my flash and batteries for my R5. I have several batteries just in the event that, you know, clearly uh, you're on the go and you're gonna need obviously more than one battery if you're doing any type of video or photo. Backups always work. Now in the back, there's a zip to where I can actually fit my entire 15 inch MacBook Pro. Yes, my laptop fits in here as well. Again, this has a compact design, but my full MacBook fits inside this camera bag with all the rest of my gear. Now let's turn it to the side, it's what we have. We have a really tight pocket. Sometimes I would throw memory cards in there or just my memory card holder. Well, I would even have just a mini tripod inside there as well. Now on this side, um, when you unzip this, it's easy access to your camera. So if you already have a lens on your body, you can actually unzip that and pull it directly out. On the back end, which I really love, this is a place that you can hold passports, cash, and it's on your back. So it's a little bit tighter to you. Um, so in the event if you're in a foreign country or if you're somewhere downtown, you can actually hide things inside there because again, it's not really visible um, because this portion is across your back. Now flipping it over on the back of the camera case itself, it has a flap where you could tuck this in or slide it over one of your travel carry-on suitcases with the extended handle. I love it because it's secure. You have your eyes set on your bag and your suitcase. It works. Flipping it over, let's take a look inside the actual bag, the guts of the bag, and let's see how much you can actually fit inside there. You'd be amazed. Now right now I have two camera bodies, two lenses inside here. I think this is awesome. I have a 24 to 70, 2.8. 
I have my old school <laughs> Canon uh, 5D Mark II because right now we're filming on the EOS R. So I just use this for illustration just to see this clunky camera is inside here as well. It fits perfectly inside there. I have a 7200 millimeter lens inside here as well. Um, and again, it just fits wonderfully inside this bag once you configure it right. Of course, I have the R5 um, inside here as well. Um, in a vertical format and I did this just to show like the bulkiness of it if you want to check out my small rig um, unboxing video for this definitely check out my YouTube video and you'll see it out this bag is amazing literally could fit anything inside here and the best part about it is padded you could adjust all the different compartments I highly recommend all right so now you saw it all of these things fit inside this camera bag, which it's again, it may just blow your mind once you actually look at all of what you can actually fit in here. Um, I like, again, traveling with this bag or even moving about with this bag if I'm not doing a huge setup or huge type of production because it's somewhat discreet. Um, it just looks like a normal backpack. You know, most camera bags that you get, they're really big and they're bulky and they're sitting way far off your back, but this is actually has a nice compact design and it sits on you rather than sitting so far away from you. Um, I, I definitely would say this is something that you you would look for, especially if you're just traveling abroad and you know that you are you don't have a huge production, but you just need your equipment. You need those, those you just need your stuff. Um, <laughs> but you know, you definitely fit this all inside the backpack um, and actually go from there. So now I would say this, if you are looking for a camera bag and you do not want a huge camera bag with a big major logo slapped across the side of it, um, this is a bag that you may want to look into. Now I can tell you this as well, I am not sponsored by this company. They did not send me this bag for free. This is a complete unbiased review based off a photographer and videographer who actually uses it. Now I had this bag, I would say roughly about two years now, um, and I've been decided to just go out and do a review because again, I didn't want anything that was sponsored. I know I was looking for someone who was completely unbiased, straight to the point, just to show exactly what they can fit in there without any smoke in the mirrors, just showing exactly what I put in there every time that I travel out of town, out of the country, or even just out of the city to work on a, on a shoot. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you like this video, please make sure you like, you subscribe, and please click the notification bell when I post any other videos regarding the photography or videography or just anything when it comes down to this space. Until then, make sure you keep those cameras clicking. Take it easy.